I am Coach Shen, an original strength coach based in the San Francisco Bay Area. Today I'd like to talk about a classic spinal mobilizer called the Cat Camel. And it looks something like this. So bring your spine all the way up into flexion. This is the camel. Then bring it all the way into extension. And this is the cat. Okay. And you just slowly go back and forth between the two. Again, trying to gain as much cat and as much camel as you can. Okay. So there's many ways to uh, cue this. Um, it's often better to have someone else uh, watch you because it's really hard to tell exactly what you're doing uh, and which parts of your spine uh, are not moving because this is a spinal mobilizer and you want the whole spine to move in a big wave. Um, and oftentimes we have uh, a lot of restrictions uh, where one part of our spine or multiple parts of our spine just simply does not want to move. So um, um, there's uh, this cueing, which is when I go up to the camel, I want to squeeze this middle part here causing my thoracic spine to go up. Okay, as I go up, there's also uh, the involvement of the pelvis because you have to be able to posterior tilt it or tuck it in, another way of thinking about it, in order to get the spine to fully go all the way up. I also find that uh, the arms, as they go up, tend to roll uh, the elbow pits, armpits will, will roll uh, inward okay, as they go up. That helps get me a little more range. Up. Back down. Um, on the extension side, the cat side, uh, oftentimes we will, we will need to move the pelvis to be able to move it uh, in an anterior tilt. Um, so tilting it forward or towards the ground, so that helps get the lumbar spine going. As I go into extension on the thoracic spine, I always find that sometimes I have to pull back the, um, the shoulder blades, the scapula, or retract them. So bringing them up a little bit and pushing the spine between them, okay. and looking up really helps too. I also find that as I go into cat, my elbow pits want to turn towards the front. So roll those guys forward. Try to push that thoracic spine, uh, the ribcage spine, part of the spine, uh, between the shoulder blades. Okay. There are other ways to do it, which uh, only involve uh, parts of the spine. So, so uh, one way is to just move only the lumbar spine, which is the part below the ribcage, to the pelvis. So watch. So hopefully, you can see this. So how can I move this part without? moving the, the rib cage at all, okay? This is, I find it's a lot about the pelvic tilting, anterior, posterior, okay? So how can I stabilize just the rib cage and the lumbar spine, okay? There's probably an analog for that, for the thoracic spine, which is a little bit harder. Try to keep the lumbar spine good, stable, but only moving the thoracic spine. Okay, and that's it. Cat camel.